Irish head coach Jim Parody won his 100th career game last Saturday as the Red Foxes defeated Sacred Heart 20-7. Making his first career start, quarterback Chucky Looney threw for 278 yards and three touchdowns. He handled the game very well uh, for his first start. He had obviously played for us a year before in a backup role and come in when Tommy had gotten hurt, but he handled the pressures of being the number one starter very well. I thought the things that he did was that he got us into the right play at the right time, and then when he uh, had to scramble out of the pocket, he was able to do that, make some plays with his feet as well as with his arm. Senior wide receivers Kevin Fitzpatrick and Mike Rios both turned in 100-yard efforts. Fitzpatrick set career highs with eight receptions for 119 yards, and Rios had 122 receiving yards and two scores. Well, with Fitzpatrick, I was in, uh, very impressed with the way he released off the line of scrimmage. They were coming up, Sacred Heart used a lot of bump man on him on the weak side. He was able to get off, and then Chucky was able to get him the football. Rios who really did a nice job of reading coverages and uh, adjusting his route to the right location, and then Chucky was able to be on the same page with him and get him the football down the field into the right, the right places. But the big thing with Mike was that way he finished his second touchdown uh, catch. He caught it, and he made a nice move to uh, uh, avoid the safety and avoid the corner and get into the end zone. The Marist defense enjoyed an outstanding evening as well. In addition to holding Sacred Heart to just seven points, the Red Foxes had four sacks and two turnovers. Well, I thought we played a very solid game defensively. We talked going in and not putting our defense in a short field situation. Unfortunately, that happened to us once. Other than that, uh, we bent a little bit, uh, but in critical situations, third down situations, we got them off the field, and that was a big point of emphasis going into this football game also. So as a unit, I thought we ran particularly well to the football. Coach Rumsey, our defensive coordinator, uh, also felt that way, is that we really uh, rallied to the ball well and that there was a, a couple of hats on the ball every single time. And so we felt we played pretty fast on the defensive side. Marist returns to action with a non-league game at Bucknell at 6 p.m. Saturday. The Bison are coming off a 27-26 triumph over Duquesne in their season opener and return plenty of experience from last year. They are coming off a great win against Duquesne and uh, that series against Duquesne has been very close over the last few years and for them to get a win at home really starts their season off well. That's going to give them a lot of confidence, I'm sure, uh, going into this. This is a team that you could see the improvement as the season went along with them last year, and obviously this year it's come together for them in the first game with a great home victory. Uh, Talent-wise, I think they're continuing to build over there. They're a year older in a lot of areas. Their offensive line are starting five seniors, so that's a great um, building blocks for them, and you can see the confidence in that offense that they had this year as compared to what they had early when we saw them in the early part of last season.